Hey everyone, it's Kelsey from Hungry Crafty Kelsey. So today I'm going to be starting my first video of my craft fair series. Um, so this video I'm going to be showing you how to uh, decorate some clothes pins to make some really cute... Um, these are great for decorations for like holding photos or wedding decor. Um, I know a lot of people get those frames that have the string that go across it and they use clothes pins for those. Um, you can even put them like this and set it down on a table and it will hold your photo. So there's just a lot of things that you can do with these little clothespins. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do it using my scraps. If you're like me, you have 80 bajillion pieces of scrap. I have so much scrap um, and I just made about 18 traveler's notebooks. So this is all scraps from that from making those traveler's notebooks. There's just so much here. So I had already taken um, a bunch of the scraps and I cut up what I wanted to make this. So the final product that we're going to make is going to look like this. I'm going to give you the dimensions to make this whole entire thing. So look how cute. Is that not so pretty? Like, that's so pretty. And I have all different ones. These are all the different ones that I made yesterday. Um, I think I am going to put, like, a sticker or something above here. But right now, this is just what my packaging looks like. So, there's that for now. So what you're going to need is you're going to need clothespins. These, you get 36 clothespins, and these are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So you can get that. You're going to need some Mod Podge. You don't need a huge container like this. You can actually find Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. This one's the gloss one. You're going to need some sharp scissors or a razor. Like an exacto knife type razor. Paper. And right here, I have these are 4.625 by 7. Point, I mean 5.75 inch clear bags. Um, these are the A2 sized bags. So that's what they look like. Um, they don't have a seal, they're just open on the top. I accidentally ordered ones without a seal, so that's why I'm using it for this project. So I have a whole bunch of scraps here, and I think I'm going to use just those ones for now. These are already cut to the sizes that I need it. So this right here, I haven't cut this to the size of the clothespins. Um, this is just scrap, and I'm going to show you how I really do the clothespins with that. This is all cut to the sizes I need for the packaging. So we're going to put this off to the side, and I'm going to just work on the clothespins for now. So I'm going to put my cutter and my um, scoreboard off to the side. And we are going to get our Mod Podge. I have, if you have a big container, I always keep my brush in there. And it gets really nasty, so I'm just going to clean it off a little. So, yeah. So what you're going to do... So you are just going to take a clothespin and you're going to brush 
the Mod Podge on it. So there's that. Then you're going to take your scrap piece of paper. This is not cut to size. Like I don't have it cut to the size as a clothespin. I'm just going to go and I'm going to lay this on top. And because all of these scraps were cut, they all have like a straight edge. So I just put the straight edge along the side where um, the metal piece is popping up. And you just kind of do that. And now we're going to, we're just going to cut the paper off. I have, I think it's like, it's like glue fuzz on there. So you use these to cut as close as you can. So these scissors are pretty good at cutting as close as I can. So just make sure that you cut the paper as close as you can to the clothespin. And there you go. That's all you really have to do. And then you take your Mod Podge and you brush it over and I like to get the edges just to kind of keep it from lifting up so this is what your clothespin is going to look like I'm going to do another one because I'm just going to show you how to do it. So what you can also do is if you wanted to use a razor, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to take the Mod Podge. I'm going to spread it on the clothespin. I'm going to take my scrap paper, I'm going to put it against now if you have um, a piece of paper that has a design and you want a certain part of the design to show just put the clothespin on wherever that de design is then you'll just have to cut around the whole thing so you can do that and then if you have a razor, you can just take your razor and cut around. I don't know if I did it deep enough to be able to cut it through. I think now I did. So yeah, that's how you can do it with a razor. So it will be pretty close. I think I cut it as close as I could, so I'm going to just double check. Yeah, I think that one's pretty good. This side, I think it just needs a little trim. So yeah, there's that clothespin, and then you just Mod Podge over it. This is a really simple, very easy and cheap product to make. Because you get 36 um, clothespins for a dollar and you can make seven sets. So, and if you sell them, I'm selling them at two dollars a set. So, seven sets, I'm making um fourteen dollars for one dollar worth of clothespins and a whole bunch of scraps and a little bit of ribbon so 
I'm going to go off camera for a minute and I'm just going to finish these up and then I'm going to show you how I package them. So it'll just be one moment. Okay, so I finished all five of them. I'm going to sit them there and let them dry for a little bit and we're going to work on the packaging. So what you're going to need is two pieces of paper that are five and three eighths by four and a quarter. So five and three eighths by four and a quarter. And we're going to glue these back to back. So we'll have a double sided paper. If you are using double sided paper, having two of these is not necessary. I just, um, since not all my scraps are double sided, I just cut out two of these. And again, I don't even change the type of glue that I'm using. I just keep on going with the Mod Podge because Mod Podge is a great glue to use. Um, I use it quite a bit. And I just keep going with the, the brush and just spread your glue over your papers. and just glue them together. Make sure they line up. I have glue all over my hands. So let's see. Just making sure that I line it up properly. Okay. So there's that. And once Mod Podge glues I mean dries it basically it dries flat so it's pretty good about um, being a great glue for gluing paper and stuff so um, I'm trying to get all the glue off of my hands now we're going to take our scoreboard and this paper right here is one and a quarter inch by five and seven eighths so you're going to need a paper that is one and a quarter inch by five and seven eighths. And where you're going to score this, is it's going to be a little weird because, but I'm doing it because of the type of packaging that we have. Um, since we're using A2 card packaging, that's why I'm doing these measurements. So I'm going to score at three quarter inch, so three fourths. And then again at one inch, then I'm going to score at five and one quarter and five and a half. So we're going to do three quarter inch, so three fourths, one inch, five and a quarter inch, so five and one fourth, and five and a half. So those will be your score marks. While I still have the scoreboard out, I'll just do this one. This right here is three inches by four and a half inches. You're going to need this for packaging as well. So you put it onto the three inch side and you're just going to score at one and a half. Okay, now we're done with the scoreboard. So we can put that away. So, back to this piece of paper that we just scored. You are going to fold this a little differently. You're going to fold it down. You're going to fold the first score down. And you're going to fold the second score down. But you're going to want this tab, this end tab, to stay flat. And you're going to do the same with this. So you're going to fold down. You're going to fold down again. But you're going to keep this um, flap up. So basically, <laughs> basically, you're actually going to fold up. For the first one and down for the second but it's just easier to say down for the first one because it's just easier to fold the second one that way 
so this is what it's going to look like when you're done folding it. Now putting it onto your paper, we're going to go, I would say this is about a half inch from the edge. So we're going to glue this about a half inch or so from the right edge. You're going to have the thick part right here on the top and the thin part right here on the bottom. So the thick tab on top, thin tab on bottom. So again, I'm just using my Mod Podge glue and I'm just brushing it on. And I'm just going to glue it from the edge of the paper to the edge of this paper, this side. So it's going to reach the edges of the paper like so. Just make sure that it's even. So the ends of the tabs should be at the ends of the paper, like that. So if it goes over a little, just push it back. So this is how it's going to look. So that's now you're going to take your clothes pins and you're going to put them in. And I like to put them so the end of the clothes pin is kind of level with the end of the paper. So I'm just going to try to get these even. <laughs> We're going to put all five. And if you have patterns like two of one design, three of another, then um, this is how I like to have them packaged. Is every other pattern. So that's how I like to have it packaged. So then you're going to take your clear bag you're going to carefully slip this in to the bag. It's a little, it will seem a little tight at first, but once you get it in there, it goes pretty well. So there's that. And if the clothespin goes like that and you just push it a little so you just make sure that your clothespins are even when you get in there then you're gonna take this piece of paper here that you scored at the one and a half mark you're gonna fold it in half okay so now that that's folded we're going to put it over so one side on the back of the package and one side on the front of the package. So it's going to go over like this. And you're going to kind of make it even with the edges like so. And now you're going to staple this topper to the bag. I, let's see, oh here's my stapler. So I only have like a regular stapler. I got this at TJ Maxx, I think. So I'm just going to staple about there and about there. So it's going to look like that. So I put the paper topper right up to the edge of where that score mark was of where the fold was of it popping up. So there's that, but we don't want to show these staples. We want to make it pretty. So what I'm going to do is I have this really pretty 
think I'm going to use the rose gold because the rose gold I think goes well with the butterflies and everything. I have this really pretty um, trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was only a dollar during their half off. They had it for a half off. Um, let's see if it will zoom. Will it zoom? I don't know if it will zoom. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. And it's kind of like a leather canvas type material. So I kind of measure by putting it. So it is going to be four and a half inches, but I don't measure it with a cutter. I just measure it where I need to cut it by putting it up against the package. And sometimes I do it a little bigger just so I make sure that I um, cut it correctly. And again, I use the Mod Podge. Like, I just keep on going with this Mod Podge. And I put some Mod Podge on the back. I'm getting, like, really messy with this Mod Podge today, though. So, let's see if I can get... Okay. So, I just... Paint the glue on there. So you don't need to get really fancy with the all different types of glue with this. Because you can just use Mod Podge for everything. That's what I do when I do this. And then you just go and you cover up those staples. Put it over where the staples are. You kind of just have to press it down for like a minute or so just to make sure that it sticks. Because um, wet glue, it moves around for a little while. kind of gives you some time to get it in the right position. That's why I really like wet glue. I love my tape runners and everything, but um, sometimes I just I need to be able to move things around. That's why I like my wet glue. So there you have it. There is your cute little package. Like how adorable. So yeah, I'm selling these for $2 a package. Um, if you wanted to check out how to do them with washi tape and make them magnetic, uh, check out the Crafty Crafts by Dina video. She does them that way. Um, and she has a different packaging style, which is also awesome as well. Um, so I will post her link for that below. And so I hope this video was helpful to you and you're able to make a lot of these because they're really fun, very easy and very fast to make. Like it literally will take you, once you get going, you can do it in like five minutes. The longest thing is just cutting the paper. It really is just the hardest part and waiting for the glue to dry. That's the longest. The packaging and everything is really easy, and getting the paper onto the clothespins is very easy. So yeah, there's my first craft um, show idea. So I hope you enjoyed it, and happy crafting! Bye!